Hi, everybody. I am here to show you how to do word of the day as our entry task in the art classroom. So when you come into the art classroom, you're gonna see a screen like this. It has our learning target and it has our entry task. The entry task says, make a drawing that illustrates the definition for warm colors. And it has a little picture here that you can use to kind of help you understand the definition a little bit more. So we're gonna go into our Google Classroom and you're gonna find this thing that says EOA and POD vocabulary. And since this, quest, this question has to do with warm colors, we know that it has to do with color. So we're gonna click on that color document. I already have one open. So we know that has to do with warm colors. So we're gonna read the definition for warm colors. Red, orange, and yellow, and colors that look red, orange, and yellow are considered warm colors. So we know that warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. So we know that our drawing needs to include red, orange, and yellow. But sometimes this isn't gonna be that easy. Sometimes we'll need to look at these sentences below to help us understand what we should be drawing. So it says warm colors are exciting and joyful because they remind us of warm summer days. And now if we think about warm summer days and we think about red, orange, and yellow, oh, we're thinking about the sun and how warm the sun is. So maybe we could draw a red, orange, and yellow sun. The next one says warm colors are angry or dangerous because they remind us of a roaring fire. So when we look at this one, we think about a roaring fire and we're like, oh yeah, that's definitely red, orange, and yellow. So maybe I could draw a fire. And the third one says warm colors are associated with love and passion because they remind us of the warmth of being next to somebody. Oh yeah, like a red heart has to do with love. So maybe I'll do like a red, orange, and yellow heart. So now I have some ideas in my head for what I can make. I could do the sun, I could do fire, or I could do heart. You could also do any drawing you want that uses red, orange, and yellow. The way you make this drawing is you click in this box, you click the word edit, and then you're gonna see that it says drawing up here. Under the actions, you could do a word art. Underneath line, you could do a curve or polyline drawing. You could also use the shape tools to do this. I'm gonna make a polyline, a very um, angular looking fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like make some flame points so it looks like some flames. And now I'm going to fill it with red and I'm gonna do the outline in this kind of pink color. So that's one, but I need red, orange, and yellow. So I'm gonna do another polyline drawing. And again, I'm gonna like do some points that go like this. And now I'm gonna fill this one with orange and the outline's gonna be a little orange as well. And I'm gonna do another polyline drawing. Ah, I messed up, give me a second. Okay, another polyline drawing. be yellow the outside of it's going to be yellow okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these together a little bit more to make it look a little bit more like flames and save and close so now i have a drawing here that represents warm colors because it's red orange and yellow and it also has to do with fire so when you come in for um, the word of the day, you'll read the enter task, find the document that goes along with that entry task, and then do the illustration for the word that's in the entry task. You can also look at the picture to help you do that. When you're going to fill in your box, remember you click the box, you click the word edit, 
and then a whole drawing box will open up and you can you can use the shape tools and you can use the line tools to help you do this i hope this helps have a good day